All right, guys, we got a superior dark beast. Yes, it's dead. Let's go, man. Wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, all right. So if you were not aware or you're new to the series, the MB Heart grind has been going on for quite a while now. So that's why like recent episodes has quite a bit of superior clips. And at the time of making this video, I am now at 84 superior KC. So yeah, I'm moving along very quickly in terms of superior KC. I'm also a little bit over 18 mil slayer XP now. And hopefully I can get the MB Heart soon. Dark be superior. Another chance tonight. Another chance. Here we go. Uh, well, eh, at least I got more totem stuff. Dude, I'm already closing in on 8 totems. This is insane. This week, totem week, man. I'm gonna call it. Damn, dude. Another elite clue scroll job. Well, that's sick. I got another master clue then to do. This is the best Dark Beast task I've ever had in terms of superiors. This is, I believe, my third one. Another freaking shot. Here we go. Oh, well, I knew I was gonna finish the totem though so that's cool what the you gotta be kidding me another one all right guys the fourth one is about to go down for the knights and what do we get all right damn jesus man that was really accelerating though okay we got an abhorrent specter superior let's check it out damn just some herbs all right all right, second superior of the day. It's almost done, and it's Abyssal Demon, so that's really good. Wish me luck. All right. Well, that's uh, total number nine. Damn, dude, I don't even have time to like get to Scotizo yet, but just because I've been, you know, really busy spending time doing raids. But yeah, it's gonna be a crazy Scotizo grind. Yes, got the plus five fire making boost on the last. Are you serious? I got it and then it dropped. Wow, dude. I'm so pissed. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't mean to click on that so fast. Oops. Oh, well. A decent Alex, I guess. And that's my 46 Master Clue. Okay. Last Skull for the day. Leaving me with five totems left for maybe tomorrow. All right. Look at what we get here. Yeah, just the standard stuff. So a lot of people think that mailing with Amado armor is actually bad and it's not as simple as that. It depends on a few things, mainly accuracy. So Amado armor does decrease your accuracy by a little bit in the melee stats. But the thing is, if you're already incredibly accurate versus the monster that you're fighting, it won't matter. So in this case, I'm using Amado because I'm so accurate anyways that it doesn't make any difference whether you know I was 130 attack or 120 attack and that's the same reason why I use Armadillo at Corporal Beast because again I'm so accurate against the Corporal Beast after its defense is reduced that Armadillo is far better because you want a more magic defense so it's the same principle so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself master stash units now because I have all the Moklu items for masters, so I might as well just put most of these in that I don't need other than for clues. I need to get, however, 88 construction for the master stash units, but actually I don't. I can just get to 85 and then bring a crystal saw with me for 88. So the crystal saw boost works outside of the house as well, which is really cool. And do I have enough planks for 85 easily? Is that where I put the uh, servant's money back? Hell yeah! Definitely got to make this before I do any construction because with this thing I can just put the money there and uh, Yeah, he just takes the money from there. He won't ask me. I guess I'll just deposit one mil for now should last me the whole thing There we go Okay, one more table and I'm gonna hit my first construction level in a super long time 83 construction Very nice dude. These mahogany tables are just insane XP. Look at this and your XP drop, you know, so getting over like half a mil XP in an hour just casually doing this, so it's really insane. Alright guys, just one last one, and that's it. 85 construction, and I haven't even gone through all of the uh, mahogany planks yet, so that's really good. But yeah, let's stop right here. I'm gonna check and see how many uh, planks I got left. Wow, 330... 
8k to 86 though if I ever need to go do more I definitely could all right so I got 2,000 mahogany planks left so that's over 200k XP right there 9,000 teak planks so probably like 800k construction XP so I still have like over a mil construction experience so if there's anything interesting coming out for construction later that requires high levels then yeah I would be sure to uh, train it a bit more with boosting in mind okay let's check this out man number two hard clue oh what robin hood hat are you serious wow dude i have three i think oh yo no way man seriously three robin hood hats holy shiznit all right guys this is right after the robin check it out oh ancient d high boots let's just check oh i don't what no way that was a new item sick oh yo i finished all the god boot collection damn dude i'm a freaking sneakerhead now there we go i'm out of totems again but hopefully i can stash up on totems as quickly as i did these past few days here we go all right nothing uh outstanding from the boss drops itself but the clue scrolls were cool though Damn, dude, 33,000. Pretty crazy. Oh, finally, guys. Definitely been quite a while since the last Armadillo task, but yes, we start once again, guys. Um, I think the last KC was like 1,070 about. So, yeah, gonna be clearing 1,100 Armadillo KC after this task. Oh, what? I got a longbone drop? Come on, man. Then that's 1100 KC with a uh, no hilt. So that's pretty bad. It's dead. And that is it. The Armadale task is completed. A rune two handed sword. I saw the red text and I was like, oh my god, I almost freaked out. But a rune two handed sword. So I have been PVM this whole week and I haven't really done much skilling. So. I thought I would take a good opportunity right now to take a break from that and do something not PVM related. So I want to try and get to 95 making because that's the only skill now that I have left that is a requirement for Master Clue Scrolls. Like don't get me wrong, I can do all of the Master Clue Scrolls skill requirements but I have to boost for the 95 making and yeah it's a pain so I might as well just I'll slowly work on this get it to 90 and then I don't have to ever have to deal with boosting for fire making ever again so hey there we go first fire making level uh, in a long long time but pretty nice so we got 369k to 87 so it just takes anywhere between one or two hours nowadays to uh, get fire making level so still relatively fast okay finish that dust devil superior haven't gotten this task in like ages but i got a key so that's cool all right this is my third one wow dude almost got three dust devil superiors back to bed that's pretty cool let's check this one out all right no drops but wow that time is pretty damn good man 37 minutes like two minutes better than my previous best ah there we go at the end of this task, got another chew bone. I think I have three now. Looking good. All right, coming up the next day with 87 fire making. Very nice three more to go. About a little bit under two hours for that. All right, and that should be 86 mining. Very nice. So I've been at Mother Low Mine every now and then when I need to take a break and yeah, it's working out pretty well. We got 374k to 87 mining. And yeah, just collecting a lot of like rune ores and stuff for future rune darts. And it's dead. What do we get from Superior's Aw Superior Small Devil? Nothing. Feels bad. Alright, second Superior of the day and the insult head of course well I'll take that per XP alright guys this is the third superior of the day we got an abhorrent specter 
coming in close to 90 superior KC and uh, yeah nothing really <laughs> So I will be wrapping up today's episode here guys. This week has been uh, pretty rough in terms of drops. I just have not been able to, you know, strike at any drops this week really. Although I've been working pretty hard towards my PVM goals. As you can see though, I'm almost at 500 raise KC, 492 at the moment, but yeah, just haven't managed to get any drops. That's why there hasn't been much uh, raise clips to begin with. And also Let's check the uh, superior progress. I got 87 right now, pretty good. And hopefully in the next episode, I can finally get some more drops. Cause yeah, we're just gonna be grinding and grinding until those items start showing up, that's for sure. Anyways, if you're new to the series and you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out. And other than that, I will see you guys later with another video, hopefully in a few days. All right, take care.